cat wearing a dress? And how about cat wearing a toque? How about cat wearing a top hat? That's right, just like that I can create instant, updated in real time, computer generated images. I'm going to show you how in this video. Let's jump in. Okay, you've probably seen a lot of videos about AI and artificial intelligence created designs. This one's called Leonardo.ai. I'll put a link in the video description below. There's a free option and I'm going to be walking through the free option today. And when you log in, so you're going to create an account and there's no credit card needed. You're going to log in and you're going to get to a screen that looks like this. Okay, so you're going to see on the left hand side a whole bunch of menus you're going to see a whole bunch of menus here at the top and it can be a little overwhelming if you're first starting you're like holy moly what am I? I just want to create an image here what's going on so what i want you to do is look through this main menu here at the top and what you're going to be looking for is real time generation it's right there i'm going to click on real time generation and when i get to that you're just going to see a black screen very simple prompt at the bottom it's a text prompt and then you're going to see some options here, some filters. And I'm just going to leave it at none. And I'm going to type in, so I'm going to type in cat right into the prompt. And there's a cat that pops up. Now I can, in real time, update it. So I could say cat wearing a dress, for example. And all of a sudden, kitty cat's now wearing a dress. Maybe kitty cat wants to wear a top hat. So there's all these different options now, and you can do this in real time. You can also go back to the beginning of the text prompt, and you could type in something else completely, like a dog wearing a top hat. The Leonardo AI is really, seems to be really smart, at least in my opinion. I've looked at a lot of AIs and this thing seems to be pretty good. So what I want you to do to create a coloring book page, it's pretty simple. Over here on the right hand side, there's these elements and you can just tweak these elements. So you can just move this slider now to the right and you can see as I move it to the right, it's going to start updating in real time and it's going to slowly make a coloring book page. The more I scroll over, you'll see the less color and the more black and white. When I go all the way to the right, it'll be quite simple. And when I go all the way to the left, it'll be almost like a photograph. So you can just tweak the slider as needed to create a coloring book option. Now down at the bottom, there's also filters here. So I've got this filter down at the bottom set to none, but I'm gonna change this to sketch black and white. And when I do that, I get a really nice picture now when I scroll to the right, you'll see that this updates and I can make it as detailed or as simple as I want. So it's just a matter of tweaking the sliders and you can see some great options, either the slider on the top here, the coloring book slider, or the slider down here at the bottom, which are different menus. I like, for example, painting. That's a really nice one for doing coloring books. And then another one I like is sketch color. And another one that I like is sketch black and white. So you can look through those different options and you can find coloring book options pretty easily to do. Now there's other ones here, folk art illustration, for example, you can actually mix the sliders together. It'll say it slows down the generation times, but that's fine. So you can try that as well. Okay, so when you're happy with your design and you'd like to download it, it's pretty easy to do and it is free. So over on the right hand side, you just go to the top right and there's a little download button. And when you click the download button, it just asks you to download the image. You just click save file and you can save it to your computer. Here's another image that I downloaded. It's actually pretty good quality. It's not super upscaled. It's 672 pixels by 672 pixels. But you can always run these designs through an upscaler and you can make them larger in quality. Not a problem there. There's also an upscaler right here. It does cost credits. So this, what I'm showing you right now in this video is completely free. But if you go to Leonardo's overall interface, you get these credits every day. You get like 150 free credits. And so that just gets updated every day. So you can see mine says it's gonna reset in eight hours. If you go down to the left here and you go to premium plans, you can see that there's a free plan and it gets you 150 daily tokens. I just wanna point out what I'm showing you in this video, I'm over here in real time generation. It's completely free. I, I've been using it for a while and there's no credits. It just, you just keep generating whatever you want. I hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. Check it out, it's a completely free app. It's called Leonardo.ai, link in the video description below. Here's another video on how you can have some fun using artificial intelligence. Thanks a lot for watching.